this Finnish project seems to have a better future. In February this year, the development of the Nemo Container mobile mortar system was finally completed. It was first unveiled in 2017, and after years of hard work, the result is great. For starters, the system looks like a 6-meter container. Inside are 100 120 mm mines and all the necessary material for autonomous operation. In other words, the Nemo system can be fired from the ground or from the deck of a ship or a truck. The system can be manned by three people and is protected by the armor of the customer's choice, including ceramic armor. The world has never seen anything like it say the creators of the system. Next up is an unmanned infantry support vehicle from South Korea. The designers are clearly interested in the US market. The novelty was presented at a US military base near Seoul. It's an electric model with a range of up to 100 kilometers and a payload of 550 kilograms. But most interesting are its internal components. As most South Korean products, this one uses state-of-the-art technologies. The brain of this vehicle is equipped with a neural network that allows it to quickly detect and track enemy soldiers, as well as respond to gunshots. The vehicle can also drive itself off-road and is suited for mum t operations involving manned and unmanned vehicles. Let's continue with the topic of Israel and drones. What do you think of this AI drone? It's called Lanius, and it's a compact and interesting UAV that can work in groups of three. The drone can find a person, as well as perform mapping, reconnaissance, and target classification tasks, even indoors. The operator only has to give general commands, and the drones will automatically avoid obstacles. The payload is 150 grams, airtime is about 7 minutes, and in order not to waste the charge, these groups of drones can be moved on larger base drones. These capabilities, according to the manufacturer, will be useful for a wide range of tasks for both military and law enforcement. Nebo-U is an airborne object detection and tracking radar from Russia. The Nebo family includes several versions, for air defense and for ground forces. The latest versions are capable of detecting targets at a distance of up to 1,800 kilometers and at altitudes up to 1,200 kilometers. The radar will spot any missile and fifth-generation aircraft, even if they're hypersonic. It's an excellent addition to the S-400 surface-to-air missile system, for example, and its large size is not a problem. There are special containers for moving the Nebo. This engineering marvel is a firearms training simulator. It resembles a video game. There are various scenarios, like locations, weather conditions, time of day, and other parameters change, and the instructors can view detailed statistics, which are processed by artificial intelligence. Almost everything is taken into account, from trigger pressure to sight position. The simulator is also suitable for group training, and its main purpose is to help instructors work as efficiently as possible. Another kamikaze drone is here to finish our selection. It was presented, among others, at the International Defense Exhibition ADEX. The main function of this model is to hit a small moving target in a radius of one kilometer. One charge is enough for 15 minutes, or 30 with additional batteries. Operation in urban environments is facilitated by the vertical takeoff. The set includes three drones, a control unit, batteries, a charger, and a backpack. All of this can be carried by a single soldier. And the best publicity is the use of this drone by the Israeli army, as well as interest from the United States.